South Africa, we have massive inequality. And it really bugs me. What do you do to fix inequality? I don't think it's just handing people grants and handouts. I don't think that's the, it's solving the symptom and not the cause. If we're going to raise the level across South Africa, we need to upskill the people across the board. The word why is a great way to start a question to the head. And that's because it gently nudges somebody to think more deeply about something they already know. Three, four months ago, I started working on this event. Our aim was to get 3,000 people to our event. Esquire magazine calls me and says, Cal, you're gonna, your dream is going to come true. We're going to send you for one week to meet Muhammad Ali so you can write a cover story about it. Everything that we do is about bringing people together and storytelling and just creating an awareness around what informal education is. Not only are his hands shaking, his legs are shaking, and his breathing is coming in gasps. And I say, champ, champ, are you okay? And his head slowly comes up and looks me right in the eye and he says, scared you, huh? <laughs> Cole spent 10 straight years traveling the world, hustling for food and accommodation on buses and trains. Hopefully he'll tell us about that. So we go back to Nelson's hotel suite, and on the way back he's telling me how when he was in prison, he would hear news of Ali and how much it would, would inspire him. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, Nelson Mandela, a, a hero to the world, saw my hero in a heroic way. 